Andrew Belinsky and I'm running for governor. We all know during this COVID crisis, one of our biggest concerns is the safety of our children and the people who teach them. So with school reopening, that's on my mind. I know that the Department of Education had a 10 week long set of meetings and it produced two pages of documents that were recommendations that you could have drafted during the first week. That two pages is now 30 pages. We don't know who wrote it or who approved it, but here's the problem. The state hasn't taken positions on reopening. Should we reopen? Are we planning to reopen and not reopen? How do we include the CDC guidelines? Is there any money that goes with the need to buy PPE for teachers, for example, and students? Look, here's an example of where our effort is deficient. The recommendations say to review your air exchange systems in your schools. Well, I've been through most of our schools and I know a lot of them simply don't have air exchange systems or the maintenance has been deferred for so long we don't know what kind of shape they're in. To ask school districts with really financial difficulties ongoing to just consider and evaluate their system without putting any resources on the table available to them to implement some of the most important CDC guidance about air exchange makes no sense. It's New Hampshire's education leadership, Frank Edelblue and Chris Sununu, not doing their jobs. We need to take positions. Do schools open? Do they not? That needs to be driven by public health data and nothing else. That's not a political issue. And then if we open, what resources can we make available to help our school children and our teachers and our administrators and other school personnel take, take care and be safe? That's my goal. Safety first, reopen as best we can, and then prepare for real distance learning across our state because we're likely to have to go back to that come the fall. So thank you very much. Andrew Volinsky, volinskynh.com. Take care.